So, it turns out we were wrong, and honestly, I couldn't be happier about it. For months, people in the drone community, myself included, were convinced the DJI Mini 5 Pro would finally cross that sacred 250 gram line. You know, that magic number that lets you skip a lot of registration and licensing headaches in so many countries. Stay under it and you're free to just unpack and fly. Go over it and suddenly it's paperwork, fees, and restrictions. And honestly, can you blame us for expecting the worst? A one inch sensor, LiDAR obstacle avoidance, extra cameras and sensors, plus way more processing power than any mini before it. On paper, that sounded like a guaranteed, sorry, you're over the weight limit, please register. But somehow, somehow DJI managed to keep it under the cutoff. And I've got to say, I'm seriously impressed. Quick pause. If you love keeping up with the newest gadgets and tech news, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't have to rely on a friend texting you at 2 a.m. like, dude, have you seen this? Now, credit where it's due. This info comes from Jasper Ellens over at Drone XL. His source didn't even notice the CZ class label on the bottom, but Ellens zoomed in like he had a built-in telephoto eye. And sure enough, there it was. That tiny sticker confirmed what we were all hoping for. This whole thing actually reminds me of what Insta360 has been doing lately, packing insane features into ridiculously small devices. DJI basically pulled off the same magic here. They didn't just keep the mini light, they kept it light while cramming in features you'd normally only see on much heavier drones. It's like taking a sports car and somehow giving it the, the towing power of a truck without adding extra weight. So why does this matter? Well, until now, if you wanted a drone with a one-inch sensor, you were looking at models well over 500 grams, which meant more rules, more restrictions, more red tape. But with this, completely different story. Let's talk about that LiDAR sensor. Current minis rely on visual sensors, which aren't great in bad lighting or against tricky backgrounds. LiDAR doesn't care. It's all laser pulses. That means accurate obstacle detection in the dark, in fog, or even when flying over flat, low contrast areas. Think safer landings on rooftops, boats, or rocky terrain, and even spotting wires before it's too late. And then there's the gimbal. Rumor says it can rotate up to 330 degrees. That's about 225 degrees of usable motion for your footage, even during complex flight moves. Imagine corkscrew shots, horizon flips, and dramatic cinematic reveals, stuff you'd normally expect from a Mavic 4. It feels like DJI is taking the mini line beyond cute and portable and straight into cinematic powerhouse territory. They've even tweaked the design. A new tap and twist prop system, refined prop guards, quieter rounded tips for better efficiency, and some clever aerodynamic touches. There's even a side button that lets you launch without the controller, and rumor has it the drone might even power on automatically when you unfold it. Super convenient, maybe even a little too convenient. If you've seen the leaked packaging, you know what's coming. If not, here's the rundown. The Mini 5 Pro packs a 1-inch sensor with a 24mm equivalent lens and f1.8 aperture. Translation? Much better low-light performance and that smooth, blurred background look everyone loves. On top of that, it records 4K at 120 frames per second, up from 100 on the last model. It's not a giant leap, but slow motion fans will appreciate it. And here's something new, a 48mm telemode. Basically, DJI uses that big sensor to crop in digitally without, without trashing your image quality. The result? A clean, cinematic zoom effect without lugging around a zoom lens. Previous minis were locked into wide angle only, great for landscapes, but not so much for storytelling. This changes the game. Battery life? 36 minutes. Just a couple minutes more than the Mini 4 Pro, but considering all the extra hardware, that's actually impressive. Sure, it's not the mythical 50 minute flight time people keep dreaming about. That's probably reserved for the plus battery pack, but still, solid win. And it doesn't stop there. We're talking full omnidirectional obstacle sensing. This drone can track you whether you're running, biking, skateboarding, whatever, and it won't panic or lose track halfway through. Now, the tricky part. No official store listings yet. According to Ellen's, DJI's planning a late September reveal. But with all these leaks, it's possible they'll push things around, especially for the US market. For now, we'll probably just keep getting teasers until the full spec sheet and promo videos drop. As for price, my guess is around $900. But what do you think? Drop your prediction in the comments. I'd love to see where you all stand. Either way, DJI just raised the bar for what a mini drone can be. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.